Hello everyone, welcome to episode 4 of Stealth School for Peace Walker. Last episode we got up to the Zadornov Search Mission 3 after completing about 3 extra ops and in this episode we're going to be getting to Zadornov Search Mission 4 and this time we only have to complete 2 extra ops missions to get the call that Zadornov escaped again so it might be a shorter episode. So I'm just going back and seeing uh, if there's any extra op missions that I might have missed. And if you go back to the Zadornov search mission 1, and under it, there's going to be a extra op called One Shot, which is really easy. And we'll be doing that one first. And for this extra op, I would pick the Fatigues, or any loadout that you have that has the Assault Rifle on it. I like to use the Fatigues because I don't really use them for anything but like Assault Rifle missions. So as you can see, in this mission we only have one bullet in our assault rifle, and there are a number of enemies, five enemies, that we need to take out with that one bullet. So the trick here is to actually wait for a certain time, or at least that's how I do it. I wait till 4 minutes and 17 seconds, and then I shoot this barrel on the left here, and at that time it's perfectly synced up to where all the enemies are near each other to be killed by the blast. So just wait. We have about 10 more seconds left. So shoot the barrel now. And that's going to kill all enemies and complete the mission. It's a really easy mission if you know the timing. So that's the first extra ops. And we have one more to do. The next extra op mission we're going to complete is number 16, and that is a Fulton recovery mission. It's another easy one. So make sure to switch to your uh, custom character and equip him with our sneaking loadout and start the mission. I mean, for those of you guys who are trying to platinum it or just get every weapon and uh, camouflage in the game, there are two things you want to pick up in this stage. But to start off, just tranquilize that first guy there. Run past this guy, you don't have to mess with him. And make your way into the next stage. And from here, we're going to go into the right side of the split here. Since the other way is blocked off. And our objective is the other way. So just tranquilize this guy or seek you see him or hold him up, whatever you want to do. Then take this guy out and continue on, like I said, on the right side. Now once you're here, there's gonna be a guy like by this tree here. Hold him up. And the first thing you wanna pick up is here in these uh, this grass here. And it's the PM design specifications. And then the other thing is right here, which is the snake camouflage. Or the snake fatigues. And take out this guy on the tower here if you want. You really could run past that guy if you wanted, but just to be safe, take him out. Then take this guy out here. And then make your way into the last map of the stage which is beyond the store here. And the prisoner we have to rescue is on the left side here. So take this first guy out. And there's going to be a guy right here by this ladder. Take him out and you can see the prisoner there. Fulton him and make your way up this ladder here. And there's going to be an enemy up here, so be careful. You can kind of see his head, like, if you peek over the top of these uh, crates and stuff. So we got lucky, and he had just turned around, so we can just not mess with him. And there you go. So that's going to be our last extra op before we get called by Kaz. Uh, a snake? Uh, don't tell me. Zadornov. Bingo. The 
guard left his post and the dude was gone when he got back. Sounds like the guard needs a guard. He was off with the girls. Haas invited him to try some of their cooking. He says he loved every second of it. Is that jealousy, cuz? Anyway, there's a new mission waiting for you. Lines a doorknob, Snake. Okay, okay. Once you're done managing your mother base, make your way back into the mission selection menu and start the doorknob search mission 4. Uh, make sure to equip your sneaking loadout or your stealth loadout. And I advise you to bring the night vision goggles because this is kind of a dark map. But it's one of the easier as a drone off search missions. We can only find them on one map here in this whole stage. So to start off, you don't have to mess with those guys to the left at all. Just run past them and roll up this hill here. And run past this guy to his left. And make your way into the next stage. And there's only three maps in this entire stage, so it's one of the shorter ones as well. Once you're here, you want to take this first guy out. You can hold him up or tranquilize him. I do kind of like an advanced move here, or I make him turn around while I shoot this guy. And once he's taken out, go to the left side here. There's no snipers or anything on this stage, so you don't have to worry. So make your way to the left side of the split. And you're going to end up on the map from story mode where you find Chico behind those blue doors. And that's exactly what we have to do here. So the off is going to be in one of these blue doors, just randomly. You can always change. So just make your way around the map. And I think there are only five or six blue doors in total. So it's not terribly hard to find him. Usually he's in this first one. But I got unlucky and he wasn't there. So just go around the map and look into the, inside the blue doors. There's not many enemies here as well, so it's it's a really easy mission. There's no blue doors there. There's one to the left here. Make sure you take this guy out. And look in there. So, nope, he's not in that one either. Make our way onto the other side here. And you can just take out all these guards and make your life easier. This is a really easy mission, like I keep saying. And so there's another blue door here in the front of this house. And Snake will say gotcha if he's in that one. And after this, there's a short little cutscene. So we found him. Curses. So that's going to be it for this episode. I know it was a shorter episode, and that's because we only had to complete two extra ops instead of the usual three or four. And also the Zadornov search mission was really easy and really short. So one thing I do want to mention is that I started a channel recently with my girlfriend and we're going to be playing a lot of games on there, like a lot of multiplayer, a lot of co-op games. It's definitely a different feel from this channel. We have face cam and all that stuff going. So I'll leave an annotation and a link in the description if you guys want to check that out and subscribe. That would really help us out. Thank you and see you next time.